Obviously everything would be powered. Everything is carefully placed so that way they don't interfere with um collision so that way you can actually open and use all these. I have these for space reasons. There's not much room in this place. If you haven't read the sign already, both of these bolts right here are all dropped. Everything else is placed on foundations. Sometimes it gets a little stuck, so this isn't really meant for one, um, a tribe. This is more so meant for solo or storage dislocation. All the foundations are sunk. And it actually raises up here. I could probably remove the foundation to show. Uh, I don't want to remove the foundation though because um, some of this stuff's sitting on foundations here. They all run some of the stuff here. I have my health up to full right now. I made this in creative, but you can do this in solo. It's just a very. I mean, you can do this in survival. It's just very painful doing so because touching lava is not instant death, but 200 damage per tick. No. The lava just goes just a little beyond that point, which is why I touched it earlier. This is my recent corpse. I recommend a double air chamber. So that way, if they manage to get to this point, you still have this wall right here as a last defense. Or they get him. But, like, you can just close that and then come over here. And do that all. Uh, I recommend swimming this way. It can be faster to get in and out. You'll end up with more health. Then if you were to swim all the way over that way, you'll still end up being really low. So I recommend if you do build this base, you better have a good line of um, medical brews and other things to help heal up real fast. Maybe a snow owl as well, and a crow pod. Before you go on your journeys. Otherwise, it's very possible to survive up here. It's very um, unsuspecting to actually build here, too. It's like if you go around here, this around this area is where the uh, Indie Forge would be. But 
obviously it's not showing. That's because it raises just high enough where it's not going to show. So this is a very, very, very cheeky spot for a solo. Very painful, but very cheeky. And also very worth it. Although this would be like a mid to late game kind of area. So I would recommend saving this as an emergency location. Although if you want to make it your main base, you can. It'll just take some time. And be very painful. But looking to solo life is a little pain, right? Oh my god, that beard is absolutely gorgeous. Like, it's not fully grown out yet, but damn, it looks good. It's a little bit like a dwarf beard. as a uh, little secret storage area just to store stuff. Bob. This would be a nasty fob. My god, look at all these bodies. Like, if you needed to kill yourself just to like warp somewhere else too, you can do that just standing right here. And you'll be like within safety of the base as well. I'm just killing myself right now so that way I can show that like if you do that you can go right back quickly close the frontmost door and then back up quickly and uh, shut off the door. boxes and some of this structure stuff that I placed around. Uh, it's a bit clutter. It's not just the speed, it's meant for like a kind of an airlock, but people can still they can still definitely um, find a way in. This is um, a one way in kind of thing. There is a gap that you might have noticed towards the right. 
but you're not able to swim under there. It's too tight and too small. I don't know if you can get like a a rocket aimed that way. It's very difficult. Very difficult to shoot guns. The only gun that I know that you'd be able to shoot under there would be tech guns, like the uh, tech rifle, and the um, harpoon gun. So this would be a pretty difficult raid for a solo. There's probably more room for this and stuff. Uh, basically, you can notice there's a lot more foundation space here. But as I was building this, I noticed that like from that foundation forward, everything's in lava. So wherever you walk there, you're going to be uh, dealing with that. So I decided to turn that into a bit of a honeycomb. Now you could technically honeycomb it out further, but I, I would be afraid to do that. Because the further out you get from the ledge, the more likely you're be able to be nice. I would also recommend being able to uh, paint quickly, if you can. It might cost some time and pain. paint it all, the, the outermost wall. But I would probably paint that as you're building it, a darker color, so that way it's less likely to be noticed. And not like after you build it all, because after you build it all, someone may have noticed it by that point. So, you definitely would want to uh, paint it as you're building it. And also there's one cheeky thing about this location as well, aside from the fact that uh, it's an air pocket of all things here, and that is you can just paint your face here in this exact spot, and you can see through the mesh. But this entire location here is not mesh. It's just um, currently, I'm pretty sure it's just an air pocket. Like sometimes, like the waterfalls, when they generate, you'll notice that like in some locations like uh, Ragnarok, that there are air pockets where uh, like at the edge of a waterfall and stuff. So, like, the river stops being a river and it starts being the start of a cliff face. Even though you see the water animation going over it, this is one of those instances. I don't think the devs are really going to fix this one. But, who knows, they might, they might decide, hmm, let's fix this one because this one is in lava. Specifically because it's in lava. Uh, who knows, Let's see how long it takes, aside from how many damage that I've taken on my health bar. Just litter this room with more balls. I can't even see. It never gets old. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little location that I discovered. Very, very, very sneaky and annoying, but I like it.